you're doing well this morning. We are currently sitting in Frederick's room because this little guy here, this little guy right here, needs to get in his clothes for the day because he is still rocking his pajamas. I do have to say, him in his pajamas are absolutely adorable. I love seeing him in his pajamas, especially like this winter one. It's so cute. Do you want to say hello to everybody? Hi. Do you want to say, <laughs> say hi? Yeah, good boy. Say hi. Say tiger. <laughs> well done. Can you say daddy? Daddy. Well done with that, mum. <laughs> you don't want to say mum. Can you say kitty? <laughs> Take your tummy out. Ooh. Say kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Well done. Say Nan. 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 Well done. What else can you say? Can you say? Really? I don't understand what he just said. What? <laughs> Um, you're so talkative and I still don't understand what you were saying. What do you want to wear today? Uh, um, what do you want to wear today? Shall um, we get these out? Uh, Open your drawer. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to wear today? you got so many clothes and not enough bodies to wear it. Maybe this top. Mummy's been really loving this top. Can we wear this top? You're picking out some shoes. Which shoes do you want to wear today? Your loafers? Yeah. What about the other one? Yeah. Well done! Yeah. That was so clever! Can you find the other pair to that one? Find the other pair. I don't even know yeah. if the other pair's in there. Yeah. Oh, well done, Freddy! Yeah. That was so good! Okay, that was a white one. Get another white one. Oh, no, no. That was a white one. See? A white shoe, darling. He's actually really good at that, guys. He's like yeah. matching everything. I had no idea he could do that. This kid surprises me every single day, guys. I had no idea he knew how to match his shoes. He literally matched two shoes and then got one wrong and then he's just matched another pair of shoes. He's so clever! Roderick is now dressed, we're outside, he's in the car, ready to go and now there's my time to get in the car and drive down to where we're going. Today we're actually going to a little walk trail slash like foresty area, that's what we're going to do today so I'm quite excited because today's weather is actually really nice for once. And yeah, I'm excited to go out and do something. We'll see you guys when we get to the forest. So we just got to the forest where we're walking today. If anyone wants to know where we actually are, we're in a place or a little town called Jarrodale. It is so cute. I mean, Jason actually came here when we were pregnant with Frederick. I think the last time we came here, it was like... 37 weeks pregnant and we literally walked the whole track and it's it's a tough track but we're not going to walk the whole track today because it's going to take way too long with Frederick so we're just going to walk on the bush, hey Freddy? ready to go in his pram. I also put a jacket on him guys because it is a little bit chillier here than what it was at home. Let's go on this adventure. I'm so excited. While we're here we're obviously going to take advantage of this situation and take some photos of Frederick. But I want to show you guys these two like really old buildings slash like creepy places. Like they're actually kind of creepy but I wanted to show you guys what they look like because they have such a good backdrop for photo. Creepy old house here guys that no one lives in. It's just a creepy old house. Apparently it was built in the 1800s, but um, he's kind of creepy and then goes with this creepy shed that I really like. 
the creepy buildings and how like old they look and everything well, obviously because they're really old um, I wish we could go inside this building but it's kind of creepy also to go inside of a building but we're just going to take pictures of the outside because I think that would be a really nice backdrop so we've done a few photos and now we're just going to go for a little walk and I guess explore this little place like little map deciding on which direction I want to go and I'm not kidding you but there's someone up ahead of us he's like I don't know who it is but it's really 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 creeping me out so I don't know which way to go because he's it's just he's just I feel like I'm crying he's literally just standing there getting in the middle of the road so so creepy probably too far away but it's like i'll show you with my finger that little black dot right there in the middle is a person and he's not moving he's just standing there it's really creeping me out it's like the perfect place for someone to kill someone like i'm not i'm not joking it's like the perfect place because it's bushland they can hide my body anywhere but I just find it really creepy that they're just standing there. I think it's a man with dogs. I think it's a man with dogs, guys. I have no idea. Okay, I think it's dogs. We're gonna go this way and hopefully um, they don't kill us. Fingers crossed. Getting closer to the guy, guys. And he's getting a chainsaw out. This is just getting creepier and creepier the closer I get. It was a lady with him, with a dog, so I don't think he's a creepy man, but it's really creeping me out that he was just standing out of nowhere and had a chainsaw. Very, very, very creepy to be having a chainsaw in the middle of the woods by yourself. The deeper I go into this, this forest, the scarier it gets. I just keep on hearing noises and I freak out and... I found this old building though, so I wish I could go up in there, but I don't think I can. There's a barbed wire fence protecting it, so yeah, I don't think I can. I'm absolutely busting to go to the toilet, like absolutely busting. Frederick has mainly eaten all his snacks. I think we're going to turn around and try and see if we can get into this building here. I don't know if we can, guys. I don't know if that guy that was chopping down trees or whatever he was doing with a chainsaw I don't know if he's the owner of that building I don't know all I know is it's an old sawmill so I don't know if it's still running or if it's just chilling there so I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna head back this way and hopefully hopefully guys can try and find a way into that old building without the creepy guy with the chainsaw trying to attack me. <laughs> this walk is getting worse and worse. I'm not kidding you, I was just walking back to go have a look at this sawmill. And I just found bones. They're probably animal bones. They're most probably animal bones. But it's still really creepy, guys. There's the first set. It's like literally a set of vertebrae, like the spine. And then... This here is another bone and these little fragments. How creepy is this? This is definitely way too creepy for my liking, guys. I feel like I'm just going to head home because this is just too creepy. It's creeping me out way too much. I feel like something is bound to happen. I found so many clues of something happening in this forest and I feel like it's going to happen to me. This is so scary. And the car's gone. This is, oh, this is getting... I think it's something. Anyway, this is just getting too creepy for my liking, guys. So, I'm going to head off. I was going to take some more photos of Frederick, but I think I'm just going to go to those old buildings that I saw before. I'm just going to take the photos there because I feel like they're the safest bet at the moment. Because what 
I'm just seeing everywhere. I'm just, I'm just, I'm really scared. Back in the car, guys. Frederick is happy again. He was like non-stop crying. As soon as all that creepy stuff happened, he was just like crying, like screaming, crying, like he was in pain crying. It was really weird. I don't know what was going on, but as soon as he got into the car seat, he was fine. So I don't know if he was trying to tell me something, guys. I have no idea. Going to head home now. So I hope we all enjoy the ride home. We got home and Frederick woke up immediately, but he's not <laughs> the happiest child, guys. He's got his dummy and he's a little bit sooky. Look at him laying there. <laughs> you're adorable, but I know you're in a bad mood. It's okay, it's okay, mommy's here. It's okay, mommy's here. Come here, we'll cut off. Oh. oh, he's just in a cuddly mood. He's just in a cuddly mood. He's so cute. Literally just in a mood, guys. He just doesn't know what he wants. He wants cuddles and then he doesn't want cuddles. It's, it's that hour. It's that hour of the day where it's it's literally the horrible hour. I think we're going to get going. Frederick finally has calmed down a little bit. Um, I put the TV on and now he's just watching. He's watching Malcolm in the middle. Um, but yes, we're going to head off for the day. So I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hey, Freddy. Big thumbs up. Thumbs up, Freddy. No. <laughs> And if you're not subscribed, please click that button and subscribe to us. But anyway, guys, we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.